let's start from the beginning. Just settle yourself down. Get comfortable in whatever position you're in. It doesn't matter what position you're in or, or anything of the kind, but just that you be comfortable. That there's not sensations that are that will distract you, like uh, discomfort, for example. And then I want you to just, and, and I would advise you to close your eyes for the same reasons, that to, to minimize the amount of uh, content in your, in your mind. And just sit there for a moment. Just breathe a little bit, not anything special. Just sit there and breathe a little bit with your eyes closed. And then, and now, move the beam of your attention kind of inward, trying to get a taste of what it actually feels like to be you. That's all you're looking for, the feel of you. Just the faint feel of you here. So just be with that for a couple of minutes here, okay? And decline to attend to definitions of uh, what you might feel. The way you decline to look into things is simply by paying them no mind. Well, there is nothing unusual about you. Uh, and sometimes the, the fact of that is extremely confusing. But there is nothing unusual about you. You're the one thing that is always here. Other things come and go. You know, everything comes and goes. But so long as you are alive, the one thing that is always present is you. And that can, that is uh, unfamiliar to most of us who have been trying to find a solution to uh, the problem of being a human being. The fact that, that I am really kind of an insignificant presence. That I don't do anything. There's nothing about me that is particularly interesting. There's nothing about me that is that has much energy in it at all. The, the, it's very faint. So the fact that um, you saw nothing unusual is more of a confirming sign than an than a idea that you haven't succeeded. I'm going to assume now that in this time that we just did this, that you actually have succeeded in, in uh, having the beam of your attention touch the experience that, it, that is your presence here. And I'm going to tell you now what will probably unfold. Uh, and this is a way that <clears throat> this, there isn't any uh, certainty about how these things unfold. It's different with different psychologies and different results in the, in the near form after the looking. But what you can probably expect is that in a way that is not really, um, in a way that's very not strong, but very faint and very sweet kind of, you'll start having an easier time in the navigation of your life over the next few weeks or so. And it'll, it'll, you sh should 
expect to have a feeling of some relief begin to uh, arise within your mind. Just a very faint feeling of relief. It's a, it's a feeling that if you had to call it something, you would call it that. You also can expect in the next few weeks and so forth that you will find yourself naturally, kind of automatically drawn to trying to get another taste of that faint experience of you. And it may, that inclination may appear as a, uh, as a understanding that you should be more structured about it or more serious about it. Or it may just be that it's restful to just take a moment and not for any thing that you can get from it, but just for the rest of it to uh, look again. It also is a common experience of many people that that impulse to look will just arise from time to time. Like when you're driving in the car or watching TV or working in the garden or cooking dinner or whatever activity you're involved in, you just may find a spontaneous uh, movement of attention there to looking for that feeling again. Things should feel, things should get considerably better over the next weeks and maybe months, no, not much more. And there will come a time, and it's, there's, so far as I can tell, there is no way to, to uh, figure out how often or how soon this will be. But you can expect, and this is the most certain confirming sign, this period of calmness, and then it'll seem to you that everything is worse than it has ever been. Every stupid idea you've had, every a a aspiration you've had, every uh, likes and dislikes and so forth, they will be even more energetic than they have ever been. Your, your feeling, your experience of, of your life within, in, of course the experience of life occurs only within the mind. That's the only, only place we have to have the experience of life. And the experience of life will become worse than it's ever been. And that, when it comes, is one of the most certain confirming signs whatsoever that you've succeeded. For me, that period lasted six years. But in the time that we have been working with people over all these years, we have come to see that it doesn't have to take that long, and that if people are willing to push aside all the solutions that have been so useless in the past, and just do one thing, when that happens, just one thing. Start working to get control over your own attention. And you do that, you can find instructions on the website, but you do that by systematically and, and often trying to get control of your attention in the manner that we set out in the website. There is, a, there is an e-book in the handout section of this uh, webinar that you should take and read because that also has all the instructions for the uh, focused attention, self-directed attention, exercise that, that we urge people to do. More than anything else, that is what happens as a result of this act is the, the, the ability that arises within you to take control over what you attend to and what you decline to attend to, what you think is worthy of your attention and what you think is not worthy of your attention. And the truth of the matter is that the, all of these 
See, the, the disease itself is comprised of a, a number of, uh, a, an ever-changing number of kind of psychological algorithms that are founded in the fear and that treat every experience whatsoever as suspect. And uh, that t draws attention to that experience. And when your attention goes to that experience, it feeds it. It, it, it lives on the energy of attention. And this we know not only theoretically, but from the experience of a lot of people over time. So, to sum up, as far as I'm concerned, you have done the act of looking. The way that you will be able to uh, confirm that for yourself is the, the arising over the next couple days of a feeling of calmness and that seems to have no particular, no cause to it, just a feeling of calmness and ease of being that will last for some time, after which you will be thrown into the uh, hell realm of recovery. And if you, if you follow the instructions that we're talking about, that period will last, could, it seems like now that, that with, the, with working with attention, that you can expect to be in recovery for, oh, five or six months. And when that period is over with, you will find yourself in, um, in a state of being that you never could have imagined. It's a state of being in which the actual experience of life as it actually arises is the most interesting thing you've ever seen. And uh, even the most uh, mundane uh, activities like I, I found that I really love to wash dishes. So that even the most mundane activities of, of ordinary human life reveal themselves to be what you've always wanted to pay attention to anyway and learn about and work with. So, please take the handout. Please pay attention to what, you know, what I've told you and what you'll see there. And please, if you are not already uh, signed up for the forums, sign up for the forums. You'll see a great uh, uh, wealth of uh, confusion and clarity and, and uh, the, the actual uh, way in, in the world that people um, find in the course of recovering from this terrible disease.